the importance of leaders who prioritize public safety and make responsible decisions cannot be overstated. When examining Harris supporters' use of fear for safety, betrayal, and potential cognitive dissonance, it becomes clear how critical this issue is. Kamala urged her followers to donate to the so-called Minnesota Freedom Fund, helping raise $35 million to set loose violent defenders after they shot at police, looted your stores, sexually assaulted innocent victims, and committed all sorts of other heinous crimes. One of the criminals Kamala helped bail out of jail was Sean Michael Tillman, very famous now, unfortunately, a repeat offender who, with Harris's help, was set free. She set free many very bad people. And then he went on a murder rampage. He killed a man on a train platform in St. Paul, shooting him six times in the head. Okay? She just turned him free. Ultra-liberal Kamala Harris will deliver crime, chaos, mayhem, and death to our country. I will restore law and order justice in America. Donald Trump's declaration reflects a conservative value of law and order. He insists that maintaining a strict legal system and robust law enforcement is essential for a safe and orderly society. Trump taps into conservative fears of rising crime and lawlessness, highlighting Kamala Harris's endorsement of the Minnesota Freedom Fund, which has bailed out violent offenders. The claim that Kamala Harris's actions directly led to the release of violent criminals who committed murder showcases. The public's tendency to emphasize individual accountability. The public is likely to see this as an example of poor judgment and irresponsible leadership. By focusing on victims of crimes committed by those released on bail, Trump appeals to the conservative priority of protecting innocent citizens from harm. This aligns with the belief that the primary role of government is to safeguard its people.